Welcome to Francis C. Warren Air Force Base. We're located in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains in southeastern Wyoming. Francis C. Warren is the home of the 90th Strategic Missile Wing. This wing is responsible for operating and maintaining Minuteman III and Peacekeeper Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. We've been selected to host your pre-strategic Arms Reduction Treaty re-entry vehicle counting demonstration. Francis E. Warren Air Force Base has all the facilities and people needed to support this demonstration successfully. It'll only be necessary for you to leave the base for missile launch facility activities. There are no operational missile launch facilities on the base. Our operational missile launch facilities are located 36 to 140 miles or 55 to 225 kilometers from the base. While you're here, you'll be visiting one of our Peacekeeper launch facilities. You'll observe removal of a Peacekeeper reentry system from its missile. You'll then escort the reentry system back to Francis C. Warren Air Force Base, and finally, you'll inspect the reentry vehicle at our weapons storage area on base. In preparing for your visit, we've trained 18 officers to be your escorts. These officers are fully prepared to assist you in conducting your visit safely and expeditiously. If anything occurs during your inspection which could jeopardize your safety, your escort officer will lead you to a safe area. Please follow the directions of your escort officers carefully. Once the situation has been resolved, an escort officer will contact your team chief and explain what happened. The inspection will then resume. Escort officers all wear special badges like these. If you need assistance at any time during your visit, please ask your escort officer. Removing a peacekeeper reentry system from its launcher and transferring it back to the base for inspection will require about 30 hours. During this time, maintenance vehicles are driven to the launch facility and equipment is set up for reentry system removal. Security teams are dispatched to the site and food service personnel deliver meals to the site. You may elect to maintain a portion of your team on site during this entire time to witness the setup procedures. On the first day of the demonstration, you'll be transported to the launch facility by bus. Immediately upon arrival at the launch facility, a senior officer will give you a walk around tour of the entire topside area. The two primary vehicles at the launch facility include a missile stage emplacer and a Type 2 transporter. They're used to install and remove the reentry system and to transport the reentry system between the base and the launch facility. Other vehicles on site include a maintenance office trailer, an air elevator trailer, a missile guidance control system truck, and several personnel carriers. You will be shown the location of temporary restroom facilities in a camper vehicle which has been placed there for your comfort and convenience. There is no direct telephone access available at a launch facility. If you need to place a call while there, your escort officer will be able to assist you. On the second day, we will drive you back to the launch facility. You may then view the interior of the missile emplacer and Type 2 transporter before reentry system operations begin. This is to assure you that these two vehicles do not contain a reentry system. The missile emplacer will be used to remove the reentry vehicle from the missile. It will be raised over the open silo, and a hoist inside the emplacer raises the reentry system into the emplacer. The emplacer will be lowered to the horizontal position. Once the front section of the emplacer is raised, the reentry system will then be moved on a transfer system from the emplacer into the Type 2 transporter. We will then be ready to escort the reentry system back to the base. You'll be positioned so you can see the transporter at all times during the trip back to the base. When you arrive at the weapons storage area, you'll notice it is a highly secure area 
with very strict safety requirements. We will escort you through this security control area. We will take you immediately to the Peacekeeper Bay. Once we get you inside the bay, an officer will brief you on the operation which will take place in the maintenance bay. This is where the reentry system will be transferred from the Type 2 transporter to the reentry system transport vehicle. The reentry system will be moved into the maintenance bay through one of the doors. It will take about four hours for us to move the reentry system from the transporter into the maintenance bay and prepare it for inspection. For safety reasons, only five members of your team may be in the maintenance bay during this time. You'll be positioned behind a high curtain until the reentry system is ready for inspection. The balance of your team will be escorted to a break area in this building. Safety is very important during this entire procedure. Rope barriers are installed in the maintenance bay and we ask that you not cross any rope barrier unless directed to do so by your escort officer. When the reentry system is ready, your team may begin its inspection. To facilitate your inspection and give you the best view of the reentry vehicles, we have three elevated platforms available for your use. We will fit your inspectors with safety harnesses and lift them to a good vantage point. Once you have completed your inspection in the weapons storage area, we will escort you back to your quarters. You'll be housed in one of our visiting officer quarters, Building 238. Our wing escorts will be taking you to your quarters after this briefing. The escorts will give you the keys to your rooms and escort you to your individual rooms. A telephone for the Soviet team chief is available in room 3820 and instructions for its use have been provided. The escort officers will be available at all times in room 3813. Your meals will be served at our officers club. We ask that you dine as a group. Escort officers will accompany you to your meals. We will prepare box lunches for any of you who are out at the launch facility or in the weapons storage area during meal times. These lunches will be delivered to you. Smoking is permitted only in designated areas on base and at the launch facility. This is for your health and safety reasons. Please ask an escort officer before smoking. We have a hospital on base ready to treat any of your team should they become ill during your visit. Please notify an escort officer if anyone on your team requires medical care. Francis C. Warren Air Force Base and the 90th Strategic Missile Wing is ready to give you the support you need to carry out a successful reentry vehicle counting demonstration. We look forward to working with you. Please let us know at any time how we may assist you. <laughs>